Yes, hello champions. This is Elias Mohozi. I'd like to join you this week to share with you tips you can use to grow your business. I'm also the author of this wonderful book, The Master Key to Network Marketing Success. This is our French version. Uh, we already have our English version here in Uganda. You can find it at Aristoc, all the branches, particularly the one on Kampala Road. But then you can also be able to get it online and you get yourself a copy and see how I was able to grow my businesses. But uh, this week we're going to share a very important um, uh, 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 topic and that is um, how to control your rich life. How to control your rich life. First of all, uh, before you go into how to control your rich life, what is a rich life? I want to define a rich life. Of course, there are so many definitions, uh, but uh, in my opinion, a rich life is your ideal life. That life that you live on a daily basis and you say, wow, I'm proud of myself. A life that you live intentionally, a life that you live proactively, a life uh, that you, re you live abundantly. That is a rich what? A rich life. Now, um, for you to be able to control a rich life, uh, first of all, there is, um, I think, uh, a phrase that I came across and it says that life is not a movie no one is coming to rescue you life is not a movie no one is going to come to rescue you that means that for you to live to live that life of abundance live that dream life you only you and only you can be able to do it if you are happy with the way you are but you want to be happier only you can save yourself if you're not happy where you are but you feel that you deserve to be in a better place even you, life, no one is going to save you. It's up to you to change your life. So it means that for us people to change our lives, then we must be what you call a chief executive officer, a CEO of your own what? Life. And that simply means that you are the boss. A CEO in a corporate organization is at the top of the organization. He is the boss. So for you to become a boss of your life, then the first thing you need to do is you need to learn how to become a CEO of your own life before you can become a CEO of a big enterprise that you want uh, uh, to probably be able to have. Or uh, you must learn to boss yourself before you can have other people within your organization that you're going to grow, that you're going to be able to boss around. So what does it mean for us? Uh, you, uh, for you to be able to um, become a CEO, a boss of your life, the first thing you need to do is to learn how to control your finances. Control your own finances. Control your impulses. Control your, ex uh, control your, ex uh, your, your, your spending habits. But most importantly, control how much of the money that you're making goes back into the what? The business. Control your finances. Point number two is that for you to be a CEO of your life, you must learn to control your time. Both the time you put into leisure, resting, and also the time you put into your own what? Business. So you must learn to control your own what? Time. The point number three is for you to become a great CEO of your business, then you need to learn to take control of your own what? Health. The kind of foods you eat, the uh, your, your, your exercise routine, uh, um, uh, those of us who are supplementing, the supplements that you take, that basically you must take control of your health. There is no CEO, there is no boss who is not healthy. For you to become rich, for you to become hardworking, for you to become a boss of others, it needs that you are what? You are healthy. Then uh, point number four, of course, is take control of your business, running the day-to-day -day activities of your business, but most importantly, owning the failures and also owning the what? The successes, where things didn't go well. Even if you are not the one who has directly involved, remember you are the what? You are the boss. It means that probably there's somehow there is where you failed. Even if it is your assistant, maybe it is someone within the organization who made a, a mistake. It means that you, the boss, had um, um, any mistake within your organization. It means that you, the boss, had um, 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 you should be able to own it anyway. That's what I mean. Then point number um, five and most important is that you must learn uh, to become a, a, a great CEO, but also to take control of your rich life you must learn to play offense and not defense. And what do I mean by that? Many of us, uh, instead of trying to fit into the your, your current finances, instead of trying to cut budgets and what of you, come on, you can earn more money. Instead of trying to retain um, the customers that you have, yes, retain them, but why looking for more customers? Instead of trying to manage the sales that you have, yes, be happy with them, but also go ahead and do what? 
and uh, and look for more sales. Basically, what it means to play offense and no defense is look for more business, look for more customers to find solutions, but also more support that they look at some of the areas in which you are stuck. Number one, are you have you been stuck? with maybe uh, an idea there is something that has been itching you itching you itching you and you're playing offense you're failing uh, uh, you're playing defense sorry and you're failing to take uh, action go ahead and take action play offense start when you're not ready start when you're not perfect things will get better along the way but basically if there's an idea that you've been having that you think you can use to improve your businesses you can use to improve your finances you can be able to push yourself further then go ahead and do it because no one is going to come and save you no one is going to do the idea for you it's only to do it for yourself then also importantly in the case you have been maybe uh, having some vices and you are maybe sitting there maybe i i met someone who uh, is not very good uh, I, I think they feel that they should be have a personal growth program. And they are saying that um, I can't have a personal growth program because I'm very poor at, at reading. I even did sciences. Even my mother knows I'm really good at what? At reading. That is wrong. If you know that there's an area in which you're not good at and you have been babysitting yourself for such a long period of time, then it's uh, it's up to you to save yourself and play offense on that kind of what? On that kind of vice maybe sleeplessness, maybe laziness, maybe drinking habits and many other vices. It's you to save yourself. It's you to say I, I, that you must put an end to whatever vice it is and then you are able to move ahead. So dear champions, I really, really want to uh, wish that you can be able to live a rich life. You can be able to live your ideal life. You can be able to live a life of wow every day. It begins by you understanding that only you and only you can save yourself. Otherwise, my dear champions, thanks for listening to me. Make sure you get yourself a copy of this wonderful book, The Master Keep Network Success. We have it in Tanzania. We have it in Kenya. We have it in Uganda. It's in Rwanda. It is in DRC. It is in Benin. It's all over Africa. So make sure you get yourself a copy and see ideas that people are getting from this book to help them grow their businesses. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me. May God bless you. See you at the top and see you living a rich life. God bless you.